And you describe Vana as like a run a decentralized central bank for your data. Um, but for someone new to the space, how would you describe it in one sentence? Yeah, um, I think it's uh, like, depending on where you're coming from, you could think of it as a data sovereignty protocol. Like it's a way to be able to work with your data in a programmable way. So usually when you use an application today, the application kind of custodies your data for you, right? So like your, your Twitter data or your Facebook data or your email data, like they hold your data and that's kind of generally accepted. Um, but with Vana, you're actually in, in control of your data at a, a cryptographic level. Um, and then kind of, the idea of like, what does it mean to own your data? Like a bunch of different things. One, it's kind of control. You get to have kind of a full decision-making power over who can access this, what are they allowed to do with it, even at the operation level. And then also at the economic level, right? Where like your data actually has been used to train AI that is extremely valuable. And so giving you ownership of those AI models that are um, actually trained and, and created from your data.